For the grey nomads, the spirit of Tasmania is an integral part of their travel plans to and from our Apple Isle. So it's not surprising the number of RVs crossing Bass Strait has increased in line with the boom. You've got to book well in advance. Yeah, that's not bad. As long as you know that, as long as you know that exactly. trip, then that's all right. We have spoken to people that, that uh, left it to the last minute to, to book, and some of them couldn't even get on. But once you're on, it's, uh, the trip's a good one? Absolutely. We're going home. Okay. Yeah. So that, that'd be a, a welcome sight, seeing the spirit when you pull up, is it? It is now we're here. Uh, a week or so ago, we probably could have turned around and gone back the other way. We've enjoyed ourselves. Is it worth doing? Do oh, absolutely. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Absolutely. Yeah. So, if the old fella wasn't slowing down, I'd do it again. Would you? <laughs> what about you? It's, it's a good lifestyle, you know, it's good. Pull yeah. up on the side of four o'clock, four o'clock's beer me time. Yeah. You pull off the side of the road and you can pull up in the middle of nowhere and you'll see caravans go past you or motorhomes go past you and they'll do a U turn and come back and say, Are you staying here tonight? You know? Then you say, Yeah, well, we'll stay. And the next minute you have a circle of wagons, you know. And what's on your wish list? To live old and die happy. To live old and die happy? Yeah. Meanwhile, it's time for me to join the line and board the ship. Not before I've dealt with my jerry cans full of fuel, which is all part of the TT line's security measures. It can be a trap for young players like me, but only once. And pretty soon I'm parking clawed below deck. And as we pull away from dockside Melbourne, I join the rest of the passengers on board for a quick explore of the bars and lounges, amusement parlour, gift shop, travel agency, they've even got a cinema for those wanting to catch a movie. But what I'm looking forward to is the restaurant, which is not to be missed. You come across a couple of times a year? At least? Yes, what's at the, least. What's the highlight of the trip? We love the accommodation and the restaurant and we love it when they change. The menu! It was absolutely excellent. Was it? The whole three courses. What did you have? We had the duck with the, uh, what was it? The um, Vietnamese mint. Oh, beautiful entree. Are you allowed to talk? With you? Yeah, oh, I'm allowed to talk, yeah. <laughs> so you enjoyed your meal as well? Oh, I did, yeah. yeah. Well, we had the steak and it was just really up in the top end. And just for the record, I followed their advice to the tea and washed it all down with an excellent Tasmanian Pinot. And by the time I left the table, I was up in the top end too, don't worry. So there was nothing to be done but catch a quick bedtime story from the purser. My favourite story of, of all time was a lady who came to the desk who was puffing. And I could hardly understand her. And she... Now, I, I want to make a complaint. The stairs are so steep and I can't understand why there's nowhere for anybody to sit on their route from the car deck and someone should be able to help and someone should give me assistance. Now, where do I go to smoke? <laughs> and turn in for the night, leaving the serious business of crossing Bass Strait to the Spirit and her captain. The next thing I know, we're steaming up the Mersey in a delightful Devonport dawn. And the journey's over all too soon. And as a thousand odd well-rested passengers get ready to disembark, I prepare myself for an onslaught of garrulous nomads at the Wynyard Tulip Festival. <laughs> 